It's the end of the quarter and the markets end mostly bearish. My name's D7 here at Grok Trade. It's March 31st, 2016. All major markets are down, but the small caps, small caps are up 0.3%. Interesting. Banks off though, 0.74% with financials off 0.22%. And crude oil off by 0.31%. Gold off by, or up a half a percent, but silver up 1.3%. We should look at that. VIX higher by a fraction. And let's take a look here at the ETF. This here is the S&P 500 ETF, and this is considered very good ETF to look at because it's ETF on the S&P 500, 500 blue chip stocks that are out there. Well, today we have a lower high and a lower low with a slight step higher on average volume. However, on the two bearish days, we, I mean, yesterday wasn't bearish. We ended the day bullish compared to what we had the previous session. However, here we have some areas of resistance now acting as support. So the question is, will we break back down here? Hard telling. As long as we can stay above these two little lines that I have drawn, that will be considered bullish, building a high base there. Not sure it's going to. But I'm watching the moving averages. Can we stay above the 20 day moving averages? Blue one coming up higher. The Dow, take a look at this, looks much like the S&P, but we're above a trend line. As long as we stay above this trend line, it, it will be bullish. NASDAQ, still below a lot of resistance areas. It's got to get bullish for this thing to, uh, to not start to drop. Small caps actually more bullish than everybody else, but we do have a tweezer top here. It's an equal high, this 111 big time area. We've had this line drawn for some time. Big time area of resistance and it's happened yet again. And I wanna look here at silver. Silver had a nice pop today. And this was a meaningful pop. The reason why is because of this trend line coming higher. We have been under the trend line, under the trend line, under the trend line, under the trend line, and this is the first time we popped up and stayed above the trend line. It's almost like it's trying to heal itself for a run to the upside. So I would, for you guys who trade silver, be watching this one closely because if it can get over this, you know, 1480 mark, you can see this gap fill pretty quickly. I can see it at 15 in probably one day, but we'll see what happens here. But that's a very telling sign to me here in the markets. And the VIX looks like it's trying to bottom out. You can see here, if I were to massage some of these lines, bring these down, take this line, bring this down, you can see that we're, man, we're starting to build this falling wedge on the VIX. It looks like this thing is wanting to pop north. And if that pops north, the markets are going to get pretty bearish here. So be paying attention to that. Now, if you're a mentor student, a lot of you guys are, and you're listening to this, and they have a mentorship coming up, do a retake. We'd like to see you come in, do a retake in Vegas with us in May, and love to have you. We'll be sending out an email tomorrow, uh, making sure everybody knows about it. And if you're thinking about being mentored, you certainly want to do that too. You can go to Grok Trade, click on Trading Mentor. When you click on that, watch these videos, but fill out the form and we'll get you more information about the Vegas mentorship. It's three days over a long weekend. It's a great time and they help you become a very savvy trader and a trader who can trade with great confidence in the live markets. If you like it, like it. Catch you guys later.